we doing? Hey, so uh, Blake, let me ask you a question. I'm sure you've been uh, following the cruiserweight uh, division, the pro ranks. Uh, any other top fighters that you're looking at right now? My biggest thing, man, is I'm, I'm improving one fight at a time. You know, I definitely want to be an undisputed world champion. So I know that there's a, a Tabidi out there at the Mayweather camp. You know, there's a lot of other cruiserweights that have belts. You know, as we get closer and I move up in my career, I'm trying to wrap all of them up, man. So we'll see what happens when the opportunity presents itself. Now, let me ask you a question. What are your thoughts about Tyson Fury getting uh, caught with uh, cocaine? Hey, man, I, it's funny because we were literally just talking about this. This is how I look at it. You work and train so hard your whole life to get to a certain pivotal point in your career and your life just to throw it all away. I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? You've gone through so much to get to this ranking. Now you're a world champion and you're still doing little kid stuff like that. It blows my mind, man. So hopefully uh, Tyson Fury definitely took it as a learning experience. And, uh, man, hopefully it woke him up, man, because this type of stuff, when you're at that high level of a, a competitor, man, you can't be messing around with stuff like that. Now let me ask you. He captured, he beat the, the reigning heavyweight champion and captured the belts. He accomplished his goal of becoming a world champion. Now, to to become a, to stay a world champion, did he? I mean, can he do what he wants to do now and and go party, or or should he stay? Should he stay uh, focused and train and continue to do what he's doing? Hey, well, I, this is how I look at it, man. It's like everybody always wants to celebrate a victory after they win. You know, that's all good and everything, but it has to come to a point where you have to turn that switch off and be like, all right, man, it's game time. It's time to get back into the gym, time to get back focused on training. It's like a light switch, man. You have your times where you party, but then when it comes time to business, man, you just got to shut all that down. So with Tyson Fury, I think that it all comes down to what he's wanting, his expectations on what he wants in his career. Is he going to continue to party or is he going to continue to try to do incredible things in the sport? Only he knows that answer. Now let me ask you real quick. Now every pro fighter out there uh, creates a character in the boxing ring, right? What kind of are you gonna create anything different, like from a ring entrance to what you wear to the music you come out to to how you fight? Is there something that you've been looking at that's gonna make you stand out and different than everybody else? One thing. Everybody that knows me knows that, you know, I was prior military. So one thing about me is everything that I do, I have, you know, America or USA behind me. You know, right now, you know what I'm saying? I have the military camo. As I move up, I want people to look at me like the modern day Rocky. You know, we, gonna, we come out blazing the flags. We might even have some, uh, you know, eye of the tiger playing. Who knows? But, uh, you know, we'll just continue to go and whatever presents itself, we'll just go with it, man. But my biggest thing is uh, just having this whole country supporting me uh, and them really knowing that, you know, USA is my home, man. Well, if you guys want to see the modern day Rocky, make sure you go check him out. November, give him the fight details real quick. So Friday, November 11th, Veterans Day, your boy will be uh, the co-main event at the Double Tree in Sacramento. Uh, make sure to hit me up on social media to get your tickets before it's sold out, baby. Lukey Boxing, we out.